साइंस पे Today we're going to be taking a look at solving the towers of Hanoi. So what is the towers of Hanoi? Basically it's a classical mathematical game or puzzle which consists of three pegs with a number of discs on one peg. Now the discs aren't just on the peg, it's arranged in descending order from bottom to top with the smallest disc at the top. The object of the game is to move all of the discs onto a different pole in that exact order again. Simple enough, right? But you have to obey two simple rules. Rule one, you can only move one disc at a time. Rule two, you can never move a disc on a smaller disc. Though his role in its invention has been disputed, the Towers of Hanoi is believed to have been invented by the French mathematician Edward Lucas in 1883. So if you've tried this puzzle yourself, you might have noticed the pattern. Let's get into solving this puzzle. So over here I have five discs on one peg and I'm going to try and arrange them onto a different peg. So we start by moving the smallest disc over there and then the second disc over there. Now at this point you can see that this disc cannot move as both discs are occupied with a disc that is smaller than itself. So we need to clear up a peg. And to do that, we can take the smallest disc and put it on over there. Now already I've started the pattern. So the pattern basically means that the smallest disc will move in a clockwise direction and it will be my every second move. So let's get into that. Moving that over there. Still following the clockwise pattern. Now with these four over here, we have an empty pig. So this pig is available to receive the largest disc. So we're going to move that over there and start assembling all four of these on here. Starting with the red one, then the blue one, then the green one. And then finally the yellow one. So we're going to continue the clockwise pattern. Now the red one can go on top. And then second would be the blue. Then we have the blue disc, then just the green one. And finally, this puzzle gets exponentially more complex. The more discs you add, the more moves it requires to complete. Build your own DIY powers of Hanoi at home and experiment with how much moves it takes to complete your puzzle. With a 3 disc puzzle, it takes 7 moves. With a 5 disc puzzle like ours, it takes 31 moves minimum. So to calculate the number of moves it requires, you can use a simple equation 2a minus 1, where n is equal to the number of discs. Challenge yourself to perfect your method to reach the minimum amount of moves. It is believed somewhere in Asia there are monks solving a set of 64 golden discs while following the two important rules. They believe that once they finish, the world will end. If we calculate exactly how many moves they have to make in order to complete their set by using the formula, we find that the number of moves required is equal to 1.8 times 10 to the power of 19. Therefore, even if the monks are able to move one disc per second, it would take 570 billion years. Thanks for watching guys. Let us know in the comments how many discs you have completed at home. Don't forget to like and subscribe and remember always question, always wonder.